When World War II ended, the United States had bases and commissaries all over the world. At home, civilian newspapers looked for new angles on stories about people in uniform and began giving commissaries some attention. They were a natural topic. Everyone was familiar with food shopping, and many civilians were curious about the military supermarkets. In 1949, to improve quality of the four services commissary operations, the Armed Services Commissary Store Regulations standardized stock lists, terminology, and shopper eligibility. Individual installations continued running their own stores, but now there was some supervision from their major commands. Soon, post-war military spending reductions made stateside commissaries targets for congressional budget cutters. But the beginnings of the Cold War, a major crisis over Berlin, China becoming communist, the Soviets acquiring the atomic bomb, and the Korean War, prompted Congress to maintain larger armed forces and keep the commissary benefit to aid recruitment and retention. With a minute of history, I'm Pete Skirbunt, Defense Commissary Agency historian.